Lynn, a talented high school student who lives with her father, receives a scholarship for her academic success and is admitted into an esteemed institution. There, she makes friends with Grace, a friendly but intellectually weak person. After learning that their teacher has been leaking questions during private tutoring sessions, Lynn starts to assist Grace in exam fraud. Pat, Grace's wealthy lover, then approaches her and offers her money in exchange for her aiding him and his pals. At first hesitant, Lynn eventually accepts when she learns that her father, a teacher with a small salary, has been collecting additional fees from the school despite her scholarship. During tests, she creates a hand signal system based on specific piano pieces and uses them to transmit answers. Eventually, her clientele expands. However, Bank, a fellow exceptional student, unintentionally exposes her cheating. Her father chastises her, and the school takes away her opportunity to seek for a university scholarship abroad by suspending her scholarship. When Pat and Grace urge Lynn to assist them with the SDIC, an internationally standardized test for university admissions, a scheme that will earn them millions of baht, Lynn goes back to cheating. But Lynn informs them that Bank, who would never condone such dishonesty, is the only reason she can accomplish this. Subsequently, however, Bank, a poor man betting his future on the same university scholarship, misses the scholarship exam because he is attacked by thugs in the street. When Lynn comes up to him with the offer, Bank accepts it with hesitation. They get ready for the big procedure together. In order to get a head start on the examinations, which are administered globally on the same day, Lynn and Bank will travel to Australia. They will then return with the answers so Pat and Grace can provide them to their clients. But the night before their departure, Pat admits that he gave the go-ahead for the goons to beat up Bank in an attempt to coerce him into participating in their plan. Bank snaps at Pat and walks away, furious. Startled by the realization, Lynn starts to second-guess her behavior. But Bank comes back to confront Lynn, telling her to complete the task she began. In Sydney, Bank and Lynn finish the first stages of the test as planned, but Bank is caught because of his anxiousness. Even though Lynn finds it difficult to commit the last part to memory, she eventually succeeds. After forcing herself to be ill and leaving the test center early, she is pursued by the test administrator. However, she is freed when Bank claims not to know her. When Lynn gets home, she discovers that their plan worked perfectly, but she is devastated by the whole thing and rejects her money split from her accomplices. A little later, Bank approaches her. He has contributed his part to revitalizing his mother's laundromat. Bank asks Lynn to launch a new program, but this time it will serve a far larger group of people. Those registering for the National GAT slash PAT University entrance examinations. Bank threatens to reveal the entire situation and claims she was the scheme's mastermind when she declines his offer. Lynn then informs him that she has taken the decision to come clean and sobs as she confesses to her father. Her father consoles her and assists her in making amends by having her make a formal confession to the SDIC organization. 